Shabbat Shalom, everyone, Pinay or extended family, friends far and wide. This Shabbos brings us to the conclusion of the book of Bamidbar, which will bring us next week to the beginning of Devarim. The book of Devarim inaugurates a vast retrospective. Moshe, at the end of his life and mission, retells the saga of our journey out of Mitzrayim until we find ourselves camped on the plains of Moab by the Yardane near Jericho, as the final sentence of this week's Parsha tells us. Our travels through the book of Bamidbar have taken us on a wild ride, and we're still on the move. We've lived our his heroic escape from Mitzrayim, camped at Har Sinai, built a Mishkan, endured rebellions and plagues, and revelatory moments of unparalleled brilliance. We almost entered the land, and then travel 40 years in the desert as the old generation passes and the new generation prepares to take leadership and fulfill on that promise. The reading from today will be from Parshat Masse. It too is a retrospective. Ela Masse bnei Yisrael, asher yatsu me'eretz Mitzrayim. These are the stage-by-stage -stage travels of bnei Yisrael who came out of Mitzrayim, the way Moshe wrote it all down. These are the journeys, stage-by-stage, place by place, so many years, 42 stopping places, 42 times we broke camp and moved. Sometimes we went forward, sometimes we doubled back. Life is like that. These stages remind us of how life is the journeys that we go through in our lives as we grow, learn, mess up, try again, go forward. Sometimes we need to double back and fix something or revisit a situation left unfinished before we're ready to go forward again. Along the way, we need to stop and get our bearings, refocus our vision and try to understand why we are where we are. The Holy Reb Nachman of Bratzlav taught that memory was given to us to remember the future. We do life review. We run through everything we've been through with one purpose in mind to help us remember where we're going, to help us remember who we are becoming, to keep our eyes on the prize. Even our worst errors are part of what helps us move forward. Remember the future. Investigate the present with heart and eyes primed for curiosity. Here I am. Why am I here? Did I just get off at the wrong exit? Is this a detour? Or really the main point? Really, why am I here? Rabbi Levi Yitzchak teaches that wherever you happen to be, there are holy sparks waiting to be elevated by you. That's a way of saying that some holy potential, some beneficial achievement is waiting to unfold right now, wherever you are, and is waiting for you. Where did I come from? Where am I now? Where am I headed? What must I learn to go forward? These are good questions to ask. 
Today we'll chant the 42 journeys. If there is a way in which you seek a new or renewed insight concerning your own journey, you'll rise for our one big Aliyah. Today, we'll also announce Rosh Chodesh Av. This coming week, the silver sliver of the new moon will again rise in the night sky. Rosh Chodesh Av is considered to be the yard site of Aharon HaKohen, Aharon the high priest. We can honor the gift that he brought to us of seeing with Mashiach eyes seeing the divine spark and the inner holiness of each person. Let's honor him with that commitment for ourselves, to see our own genuine goodness and that of everyone around us. Rosh Chodesh Av also begins the nine days before Tisha B'Av recalling historic calamities that have befallen our people and engaging the terrible devastations that our current circumstances now bring us. There is much to grieve, yet we are called to action. We comprehend the journey. We remember the future, allowing the holy sparks in the now to light our way. Shabbat Shalom, beautiful friends. We enter the gate of Torah. Ki mitzion teitzei Torah. Udvar Adonai mi Yerushalayim Baruch shenatan Torah liyamo Yisrael. Bikdushato. Ki mi Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonenu Kadoshimo Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonenu Kadoshimo Gadlu Ladonaiti Uneramema Shemo invite you, if you would like to rise in your place wherever you are. Where did I come from? Where am I now? Where am I headed? 
What must I learn to go forward? If there is a way in which you seek a new or renewed insight concerning your own journey, rise in your place wherever you may be. Amen. Hakol habu godel leloheen udnu chavod la Torah ya amdu la Torah. Y'all come up. Baruch Shenatan Torah la Mo Yisrael b'gedushato ve'atem hadvekim badonai Elohim chayir kulekem ayom. Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam vaheh. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam vaheh. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Asher kirvanu la'avodato. Venatan lanu et torato. Baruch Ata Adonai. Noten et ha'torah. אלה מסי בני ישראל אשר יצאו מארץ מצרים לצבאותם ביד משה ואהרון. ויכתוב משה את מוצאיהם למעשיהם על פי אדוני ואלה מסיהם למוצאיהם. These now are our travels, we, B'nai Yisrael, as we get out of Mitzrayim in all of our multiple groups, by the hand of Moshe and Aaron, Moshe has written all of our travels down for us here in the mouth of Yah. Now, here are the travels. In the first month, in the 15th day, in the morning of Pesach, Yatsu b'nei Yisrael b'yad rama le'enei kol Mitzrayim. In the 15th day of the first month, right in the morning of Pesach, we get out, walking with a high hand, leaving it, all behind us, in the faces of all Mitzrayim. Ah, Mitzrayim. They look up as we walk down the road while they are burying their firstborn dead. Asher hikadonai bahem, that was struck down by Yah. Vayisau b'nei Yisrael meramses, and we get out from under that alien power. Vayachanu b'Sukkot, and we arrive at Sukkot, the place where we realize that after all, everything is temporary, and we move from there and camp be'etam b'ktsayamidbar in the place in the wilderness where we seek perfection. We move on from there. We come to a place where we feel open and can speak freely to the hidden master of the north. And we find a tower of power there that we feel will give us a strength to do everything we need. And we travel three days there, and it collapses and we fall into bitterness in Marah. 
We get ourselves up and we move from there. And we come to Elima. Place Elima, source of many powers, 12 natural springs feeding us, 70 date palms, each carrying one of the names of Hashem. We are revivified. We move from there. And Vayisumeilim Vayachanu Al Yam Suf. And we can travel to a vision of the sea of entropy at the end of everything. And we can move on from there. Vayachanu Bamidbar Sin. And we come into an open wilderness which is dominated by the moon goddess. We move from there. We come to a place where we decide to bang on the gates to force a change of karma. And from there we find Shabbat, which is the source of true deep power. From there, we think we're doing so well, but we lose it. We end up with a sense of weakened hands and an unquenchable thirst. We get ourselves up and we move from there. And we come indeed to the place, the open place of Sinai, where we can hear the voice of Yah. Then we move from Midbar Sinai, Kivrot Hata'ava, and we finally we can come to a place where we can bury our lust, the oral fixation that had us trying to take, take, take. It's God. So now we come to a place where we can seek a pattern amongst the chaos. Then we can move from there and fall down stuck in brambles. We pull ourselves out of there. And we come to the place of the exploding pomegranate. And from there we move into a place where all is whiteness. We move from there and we find Risa. The stopped well, the place where the Shechina is hidden under the level of reality. And we move from there, Vayachanobikehelta, and from there we can find a place where we begin to have a sense of true community. We move on from there and we turn to find Har Shafer, the mountain of beauty. And we move on from there, and we turn from there, and we collapse into terror and trembling. We pick us up, and we move on from there, and we come to Makhelat, where our voices can join together in harmony. This gives us a strength to move on from there, and we come to Tachat, where we can visit with, with a sense of groundedness. We have found some bedrock to stand on. Ah, great, great, great grandfather. We are now open to ancient wisdom. This leads us to a place of unparalleled sweetness. We move forward from there and come to Chashmona, a sense of fat richness awaiting us. We move on from there, Vayachanu B'Moserot, but we collapse again in Moserot in, in, in self-chastisement and anxiety. 
We move on from there, we pick ourselves up and come to B'nai Yakan, where there is indeed a gift in a tight place. We move on from there, Vayachanu Bechor Hagid God, finally a sense of true good fortune arriving. We move on from there, Vayachanu Vata. This is the place where it is all good. It feels right. From there, we find ourselves in Avorna, preparation for the real crossing, the real transformation. We move on from there and we come to Etzion Gaver. This is a place where we can find a strong inner heart that gives us the courage to move forward. And we move forward and we come to a place where all is perfect and kadosh. Vayachanu behor hahar, then we land in the place where we are finally fully aware of absolute, complete physical reality. And this is the moment when Aharon passes into the face of Yah. And then we move on from there. We keep moving to Tsalmona, where we can stop and we have the focus to take stock of ourselves, who we really are. From there we come to Funan, discovering that deep inside us is hidden treasure that we can access. And we move on from there and we come to Ovo Avot, the place where we can feel the connection with early generations. And from there we start feeling and discovering sporadic moments of personal transformation and communal movement. Ah. Divon God we discover surprising fruitfulness awaits us. We move on from there and we come to Almon Divlataima. But yet there are rocks in the road, there are obstacles, we are stopped. But we move forward. And now we can take the wide view and see far from one end to the other, and we have a vision of where we are going. And we move on from there. <clears throat> now we are come to the place where we can turn and see Beit HaShimot, Look back and see the house of loneliness we were stuck in. Adavel Hashitim. And now we are able to drop the earlier programs we've been carrying like dead wood and leave it all behind and become lighter and ready to go to the crossing and transformation to who we really can become. Be'arvot Mo'av And now, in summary of all that has happened, we return to the daughters of Tzalachad. This was what Yah directed about the daughters of Tzalachad, who were the sole inheritors of their father's inheritance. That the inheritance, the land, the tribal's land, should not move from one tribe to another. 
therefore. All married inside the tribe to their various cousins, so that the tribal lands remained the possession of the whole tribe. This now is the summary and the end of the mitzvot judgments that were laid down by Yah through the hand of Moshe to all B'nai Yisrael there at the transformation place of Moab on the banks of the Yardain. Ele hamitzvot ve hamishpati matcher tziva Adonai beyad Moshe el bene Israel bearvot Moab al yarden yerecho chazak chazak ve nit chazek chazak chazak ve nit chazek ve nit chazek chazak chazak ve nit chazek be strong, strong, and strengthen each other. 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 Baruch Atah Yah, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet, Bechaye Olam Nata Betochenu. Baruch Atah Adonai, Noten Hatovah. We offer at this time prayers for healing, inviting you to, in a moment, hit pause so that you can bring into your heart or speak aloud the name of someone to whom you would wish healing prayers be transmitted from Torah to our hearts through you to the one you love. So we call out the ancient words that Moshe Rabbeinu called out in prayer when Mo Miriam, his sister, was stricken, and he prayed, Anna Elna Rafana La, please God, please heal. And she was healed. Hit pause. We offer prayers for healing. Anna Elna Refana La Anna Elna Refana La Anna Elna for a complete healing, a healing of body and a healing of spirit for each one of us and for all whom we hold in our hearts. We especially at this time offer prayers for healing for all of those who are stricken with coronavirus during this time of pandemic and healing and health and wellness for all of the heroic <coughs> healthcare workers who daily risk their lives to save life. May there be a complete healing. Amen. Well, our scroll is, is out. Mm -hmm. We'll offer the 
invocation and bracha for the new month. Ye ira to mi le fane ho dona yeroinu he horeinu shet khadesh alenu et khodesh haze le tova libera may it be your desire holy one god to us and our ancestors to renew this month for us for goodness and for blessing. Gift us with long life, lives of peace, goodness and blessing, nourishment and sustenance. May we enjoy healthy bodies. And lives filled with awe and reverence so that we shun wrongdoing. May our lives be free of shame and reproach. Lives filled with abundance and honor love of Torah and awe of heaven, in which all the desires of our hearts are fulfilled for goodness. Amen. Amen. May the one who made and makes miracles for all of our people and redeemed them and redeems us from slavery into freedom continue to redeem us and gather all the scattered parts of ourselves and gather all of us from the four corners of the world, for all Yisrael is one fellowship. Mi she'asa nisim labotenu, mi motenu, ve'goel ota me'abdut l'cherut, hu yigal otanu be'karo, v'kabetz nidachenu, me'arba kanfot ha'aret, chaverim kol Yisrael, v'nomahar, amen. Rosh Chodesh Menachem Av Iye Beyom Harvi Haba Aleinu Veal Kol Yisroel Veal Kol Haolam Letova The new moon of the month Menachem Av will be this coming Wednesday. May it be a time for us, for all Yisrael, and for the whole world, for some good news. Yechadashehu akadash burahu aleinu ve'al kol amobet Yisrael lechayim ulishalom l'sason ulesimcha lishua olechema v'nomar May the Holy One renew this month for us and all Yisrael for life, for peace, for joy, for gladness, for redemption, and for consolation. Amen. We rise together as the scroll is lifted. Vezot HaTorah, Asher Sam Moshe, Lirnei Lirnei Yisrael, Al Pi Adonai, Beyad Moshe, Yisrael Ve'oraita Ve'kudesh Ha'berichu, Ha'hu Yisrael, Hey, it's high.
future, allowing all the holy sparks which we can elevate in the now to light our way. We hold in our hearts a vision of the future, the way the world can and must be, a world of wholeness, completion, fulfillment, perfection, shalom, peace. Odiavo shalom. There will yet be shalom, aleinu, for all of us. May we each walk a path of shalom. May we each become the shalom which we seek. <laughs> Shalom Aleinu Odiavo Shalom Aleinu world. At this time we offer a Kaddish Yatoma Mourner's Kaddish, that there might yet be a further soul ascent into the light for all those who are remembered today. If you are in a time of mourning, or observing a yard site, or if it has become your custom to rise into a Kaddish Yatoma in behalf of all of those who have perished with no one to say Kaddish for them. Please rise at this time, Kaddish Yatam. Call out the names of those for whom you say a Kaddish as we hit pause. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabo Be'olma dibra chilutei v'yamlich malchutei 
בחי אחד וביום אחד ובחיי דכל בית ישראל בעגלה ובזמן קרי ואמרו אמן יהא שמי רבה מבורך לעולם ולעולמי עולמיה יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי וקודשה וברכו לאלה ננקול ברכתה ושירתה תוש בחטא ונחמתה, דם ערן בעולמה, ואמרו אמן. יהא שלום רב עמים שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיה, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל, ואמרו אמן. May the one who makes shalom above wholeness, completion, fulfillment, perfection, and peace. Continue to help us become the peace which we seek. Bimhe Rabbi Ameinu, speedily and in our day. We conclude our Torah service this morning. Ein Keloheinu.